All right, well, might as well get started. Why is it picking up so much vibration? That is way too much vibration. Way too much. It's a bit better, but like, okay, come on. Anyways. We're doing art that we haven't done in like fucking forever. So it's about time we got back to this. <laughs> yes, I do have a rail jack. Okay. I thought I erased that better than I did. I still got some of the the uh, sketch lines uh, in here a little bit. Not too bad, though. I'm using a new silver today. I'm going to try using um, this silver to replace the silver spray paint that I was using, and I hope that this works better, because... A little silly using the other method. That was way more silver than I was initially intending on using, so this should be interesting. I hope this turns out as good. If not better than what I was using before. to grab my reference images. Huh. Okay, that's kind of bugging me that the bot hasn't grabbed me going live yet. Hmm. 
it should be grabbing me, but hi, Linala. It hasn't quite grabbed it properly yet. Let me just do that. Move it a little over. There we go. Hey, I think it's working. All right, so this silver acrylic paint is going to be my new paint method instead of using the silver spray paint that I was using, as goofy as that was. <sighs> Thank you. All right, um, reference image, there we go. Maybe Twi uh, Discord's just being slow. I don't know. Uh, no, I, I wanted that. Did I want that open? Jeepers. Where the heck did I put that reference image? No. Dang it. There's one. I think I've got things sorted. I was just trying to find where I put all my reference material for this painting that I'm working on right now. Because I kind of need to know what I'm seeing. Just a little. too much water. But yeah, how are you doing, Lunala? It's been a hot minute since I've seen everybody. It's been... I think about eight days since my last stream, so it's been it's been a while. I seem to be only able to stream about once a week now, which kind of sucks. I didn't intend it for it to be that way, that's for sure. But that if I can stream at least once a week, then I think I'm okay for this time period.
by time period, I mean, like, this time of the year gets really tricky for me for, like, lighting and whatnot. Because if I don't have enough light, I lose a lot of motivation to do anything. Love that shine. So I'm going to be working on a number of pieces today. Uh, working with the silver. I got really tired of seeing these on my side desk and I just wanted to finally finish them I haven't come up with a pattern for this one like an exterior pattern Because this is in Cetus, where this bug is found, I'm thinking maybe just do something like the like the Austron language. It's kind of swooshy.
I wish I could access this little Oroken bug in game. It would make my life so much easier if I could. Trying to show off the shininess, but there we go. So I know I posted it to the mod room on Discord, but uh, did you did you? Did you take a look? Did you see a uh, special something appear? Everything? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's not current generation. <laughs> But uh, I have with me, here actually, let me see. Pop the thing. There we go. <laughs> A bitch. I can do PlayStation streaming. And I currently have um, Destiny 2 <laughs> downloading in three hours. It's been downloading all day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. pretty chalky I mean it well it's the PlayStation Network if you're not using PlayStation Plus it's slow as fuck 
Like, I, I've dealt with slow before, but it's slow. Like, oh my god. Anyways. What? Oh, Sammy. What are you doing? Mister, come here. Come here. What are you doing? Where are you going? I have the cats all right behind me. Oh, it's already it's already downloaded. Warframe Warframe is already downloaded. Dauntless is already downloaded. Destiny One is already downloaded. Um, and then um, I have Destiny Two downloading as we speak. So that's why I have Destiny in the background going off, so that I can. Um, so that I can keep an eye on it there. And <laughs> um, I'm 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 I'll think on it. Um, I definitely want to think on it. Um, it would be nice to have a um, a pre-made clan to go and work with but I don't like the lack of control <laughs> I don't know it, it's uh, and I and I know that you are on the you are on top of it when it comes to moderation for your clan so I think it's all good in that regard it's just I don't know my own personal hitches I guess Uh, I don't think there's much more I can do with this guy. Not really. Oh, wait, no. I need to make that more solid. Um, and it turns out I can have day one access on uh, more than one account, but it's like only one more. I have played like maybe an hour or two into Destiny 1. And that's really about it. So I know that Taken King is available for purchase with Destiny. I'm not sure if that's something I want to purchase outright, seeing as I just spent over $400 on purchasing the uh, PlayStation 4. My budget is kind of spent, understandably. So, maybe at another point, unless you can gift people expansion passes or whatever, I don't know if that's ever really a thing. Not worth it? Okay. Good to know. I remember hearing that Taken King was good. That's why. That's why I was considering it, but not getting it outright. What's one of your... Huh. That's funny. Um... I remember watching Kazooaloo a couple nights ago about going through like one of the ships or whatever that the that the fallen um, came in from used because they never had the light apparently.
whatever that entails. Like I said, I've only played a, like about an hour or so of Destiny 1 and then hopped off because I didn't have the time for it. But now I do because I can just stream it if I want. So I think that's enough silver for the key bug. I'm going to let that dry. And then the moth. I'm going to work on the mercury. Yeah, yeah, that, well, that's kind of what I want to, like, I, I, I want to play D1 and then D2, just to see how the game has progressed over the years. It's why I was originally going to play Assassin's Creed on stream, and then uh, the whole shitstorm with Ubisoft came out, and I'm like, well, maybe I won't, maybe I won't advertise their franchise like yeah they had the hostage thing happen but like you've also held your employees hostage with your shitty abusive behavior so like um one's more immediate threat one's more long term threat so like pick your poison and I'd rather not pick a poison at all so that's my stance on the whole situation there and honestly I feel like it was like kind of like a stunt that Ubisoft pulled but to pull pull at the heartstrings of people I would not be surprised if that was hired by the CEOs like fuck them <laughs> yep. I mean, they're wealthy enough to hire a hitman, so why not? I mean, competent hitman. But one nonetheless. I'm half tempted to just paint the entire thing like that, but ugh. That's why I was looking forward to Beyond Good and Evil, and then, oh, um, I, I just, because Beyond Good and Evil is still one of my favorite games of all time. I don't think it'll ever stop being my favorite because of the characters. And the way how it plays is so well done. But I hate that it would draw attention to Ubisoft. And there's shitty people involved. Cheers! <laughs> I 
got to mark that as com uh, bring up that Q system thing earlier. But yeah, I'm really happy to be getting back into this project again. It's been way too long. I think the last time I worked on it was like September. And then October happened with uh, the 10 October. I got decently far with that. Oh yeah, and I think they're still going through it, I think, uh, to complete the thread, like one piece from every every person who participated, which they really should have been doing from the beginning, just because of how many people there are. Some people are kind of like one and done, out, which I don't blame them. It's, um... Also, I have a feeling that the reason why um, they didn't show my final piece for 10 October, the one with the um, saddled grandeur, um, is because they don't want to give people hope for a critter that's not even ready to come out for the Plains of Vitalon. <laughs> I've put I put too much love into this critter that's not even ready to come out. And for those of you wondering what I'm talking about in terms of the grandeur, um, it is that critter right there. There we go. I'll say that. Probably because it may play into part of the Javiri paradox as the steed. The antenna as opposed to the robot looking one we got when we were the old tenno. I think, well, there's that too. And it was mostly because when I, when I did my interpretation, um, look, there it is. Let me just scooch that over. When I did this piece, I, it was mostly as um, if the Ostron were to see this critter in the Plains of Eidolon, how would they use it? And let's be real, it would be a beast of burden. It would be like, it would be one that you'd ride around on, you'd probably use it to carry your goods. We don't know what the actual scale of how big this thing is. I just started assuming the scale of this thing and like, you know what? Let's ride around on this thing. Let's see how far we can get away with this. So, um, and I just 
I personally, I love the color palette that I went with with this. I didn't really reference a background. Oh, uh, my, my thumb. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was removing the sticky tack or whatever it is. You know when like uh, an appliance has like that stuff that you have to pull away that protects it for a bit? Uh, there's some screws or whatever on the back of the appliance that we had and uh, some of the, the edges on the screws are, were a little too sharp and that's maybe how I cut myself because I didn't even notice myself cut it. Uh, like I, It looks like a paper cut but a little bit too deep. So, oh well. Um... Yeah, oh well. But yeah, so it's just like, I have a feeling that the main reason why they didn't show this piece, which is the final piece I did for this year, for 10, uh, 10 October, is that they didn't want to raise people's hopes up too high because of the steed that they showed, the uh, Daviri Dax um, in the Div Plains of Daviri um trailer that they showed in 2019 was that 2019 when they showed that frig anyways yeah they didn't want to raise people's hopes up too high like I've raised my own so <laughs> well it would have well I I'm assuming that it's big enough that the Ostrong can ride it and the Ostron are tiny people or they're normal sized no wait no 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 we've seen the Ostron next to other uh, people like uh, the operatives in the relay and uh, they are tiny people uh, so I wouldn't be just surprised if they're not much bigger uh, than the Ostrons if they're like Because they're top at about like five foot one, I want to say. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I still don't have. Well, like, yeah, like I've said, like I don't have Grendel's second helmet, and I'm not sure if it's part of Nightwave yet or not. I would assume it has been. Actually, I want to check that on the wiki right now before I do anything more. Megan size, basically. Graves. <laughs> uh... Grandel, 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 Grandel. Excuse me. No, well, apparently it can be introduced in update 26.0. Oh, it is a cred offering. Okay, so it is part of Nightwave. You just have to wait for it to uh, switch in. Okay, interesting. Just wanted to make sure.
Okay, so yeah, it's just on rotation, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm done looking at that for now. <laughs> Anyways, back to painting. And, um, it's funny with, um, I've been going to, I did a lot of shopping the other, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, because I set up. So my sister's uh, PlayStation 4 is all set up and ready to be given to her. I made sure it was updated and I um, like deactivated my account from there. Uh, made my new PlayStation 4 the primary account primary uh, PlayStation 4. I made sure everything was up to st up to stuff. Attention. <laughs> Emergency. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Every time that raid response goes off, I get a little heart attack. <laughs> Cuz my Actually, no, it's not a heart attack. It's my stomach drops. Holy crap. ESP, thank you. <laughs> my stomach just, like, friggin' dropped. Thank you, ESP, for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming on in. Welcome on in. Make a queen, Miss Michelle Jean. Jean? Oh, oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> fiction. Uh, auto, ESP, of course. Thank you, everybody, for coming on in. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I am Pyro, one of the uh, Warframe creators uh, to uh, 10 out of 10. Yes! <laughs> um, and this is what I'm currently working on. It is the Mercury from Warframe. Uh, this is a long-form project that I've been working on since July? July. Um, and right now I'm doing a bit of a silver pass. You can't really see it at the moment, but if I tilt it, will it reflect? Kind of, not really. Oh, wait. Kind of, it's kind of going on the teeth. Failing, whatever. Um... I I would have to talk to DE about this if they would want to turn these into pins. I would definitely be okay with that if I could get at least some sort of commission on that because that's pretty that would be pretty cool. Um but no, uh but yeah, so the other ones that I have done are actually just over there as you can see on here, these are all the ones that I've completed. Now you'll notice that we have Kuaka, Kondrak, Yagwan, Kothal, Norg, Trolloc, Karkina, and Grandir. Now you may be wondering, what the heck is a Grandir? Well, my friends, this critter is not in game yet, and it has concept art released, so therefore I decided to put it as part of the Plains Vital on collection of critters that are going to be part of the game. It looks like this. <laughs> and yes, there is Fanforge. Fanforge is an option, but I don't know if they could turn this into pins. I'm not sure how they would do it. But yeah, I love this critter so much so that I have done at least two, minimum two, uh, fan art pieces. And 
While they did not show it on the uh, 10 October thread, the one that they picked was actually a prior one, my, my one prior to that. So you may have seen that on one of the uh, prime times within the last week or so. They showed that one. But my final piece was this one. Can you tell I love this thing even though I don't know what its name is? <laughs> so yeah, I am, I guess what you would call the Warframe Critter Lady. I love the critters in Warframe. I love them. I do. Um, it's just... I have a lot of love for these weird things in Warframe that live in the in the world. Um, so yeah. I, and I love Cetus. The, it, it's like my favorite area. I know it's the first open world, but like, heck. It's... Yeah. It's so... I love it. Anyways. Uh, so the, and I've done a lot of other 10 Octobers as well, um, in previous years, but yeah, I, I won't go over all of those, but the one that I worked on earlier is this. Oh wait, I need to turn that one off. This is another creature that's part of Warframe that's not part of Warframe that should be part of Warframe. This bug, I swear to God, we have, we have, we don't have a word for this one either. <laughs> it's just the Oroken Void Key Bug. This is all acrylic. Uh, acrylic with, uh, this, I, it was originally silver spray paint, but I'm using these, uh, Pebio acrylics. And I also have the... Um, my college are uh, acrylics from like at least five years ago and they still work which is actually pretty funny um, so lots of fun but this one actually should show off the silver a little bit better if I can get it there we go so the the darker gray is actually silver so, love this bug. It needs to be part of the game. We need, like, um, because we have the Biz. He has several conservation rifles and stuff beside him. We need bugs in Warframe. Not like the game-breaking bugs or anything. We need bugs in Warframe that we can hunt. <laughs> uh, that, like, use like a net gun or whatever. I think that would be kind of fun. Also, did you know that the Mercury had eyes? It has eyes. It took me until doing this project literally years after the fact literally years after the fact that I found out it had eyes what <laughs> anyways thank you for the follow thank you thank you thank you um but yeah so it's just like it was like I this is the part that moves Right here, the whiskers, the mouth, it draws your attention and you don't really see the back end. It blew my brain out when I discovered that. Like, what the heck? It was honestly insane. Discovering that detail there. <laughs> So I've been having a lot of fun with this project. Um, and while I'm doing the Silver Pass right now, um, I would normally have what I would call the Pattern Pass before I do this pass. But I just want to get these the Silver Pass for what I currently have done now. Um, and work on the Pattern Pass later. 
and then redo the silver pass. Um, because essentially what the my phase of this project it it's pretty easy to follow the different phases of this project and I've actually come up like I've only learned art from no that's okay yeah I think I think because I think it's because of the whiskers are so prominent that it's not as well um well formed as the rest of it um <laughs> uh and actually yeah I, I can understand why you'd be terrified of the the bugs on uh demos they're they're quite they're quite large they're cute in their own weird creepy way but uh yeah i get that Uh, I do love the conservation uh, in Warframe, though. It is a joy. The only unfortunate thing that conservation brought... <laughs> it's true, though. It's so true. Uh, did ESP disappear? I, I kept, did not catch what she... Did she, like, head off for... Uh food. I bet she went off for food. And thank you, Everthave, for doing the cast command for her. She had to go do family stuff and food stuff? Yeah, that makes sense. Her life is pretty pretty busy right now, and I, I don't blame her for heading off right after a raid. I would do the same. Because typically when I stream, it's like right up until supper time, typically, and I have to like run upstairs. Well, not run upstairs, but you know, you get the idea. Um, and, or, uh, or I have to go straight off to bed <laughs> if I'm streaming late enough. But I won't be streaming too late today. Uh, I think, no, it's next weekend, I believe. Yeah, it's next weekend. So not not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Yeah, so like the actually it is it is like uh what I believe to be baleen. I think they are fil filter feeders. Um because this is the detail that I pulled from um Warframe itself. So when I when I do the reference images for these crit, uh, for these critters, um, some of them are easier to get than others, but I found a really neat workaround. So what I do is when I'm looking for new critters to paint um, and to get reference images f for them, uh, what I will do. Is that I will actually go hunting for every size of that one fish and go for I will go for a while and make sure that I have one of each size or adornment in the case of the Eurokin fish um, and then I will uh, make sure that I have um, one of each and then go to my ship and then I will put them into not the main fish tank because the main fish tank it's hard to get a good camera angle on but I put it onto the side tank because then the fish are facing forward and that's what helps me the best if I wanted them on their if I wanted them in uh, profile not um, not head-on like they are right now um, then uh, that I would uh, use the main tank, but since they're all facing forward like they are, it doesn't help me to have them in the main tank. So I put them into the side side tank and the H fo uh, face forward. Yeah, 
it would it would be nice uh, but here's also another thing about uh, Captura that is a bit of a pain in the butt um, you can't spawn in conservation creatures uh, at all you used to be able to uh, and that was before the Plains of, uh, not Plains of Eidolon, the Fortuna expansion. They added in conservation after the fact. And so the Kawaka and the Kondrak used to be able to spawn in to uh, Captura, but after they added those to conservation, they changed their AI archetype, I guess, uh, is the, the phrase for that. And so, therefore, they now follow the conservation archetype, and they are not classified for spawning in anymore, which sucks. So, the only means of viewing the Kondrak or the Kuwaka is either getting the caged Kuwaka or Kondrak from Master T's and I from his rotation, or looking at them in the uh, codex. The unfortunate thing with using the codex method is that the camera is constantly moving and the creatures are in an idle animation. So what that means is that they will have their idle animation running, so they'll be looking, and they'll have a random tick every once in a while to do a different animation. You cannot pause the camera because it's constantly rotating around the creature and the creature is always moving. So you can understand my frustration when it comes to doing those uh, critter critters. On top of it, I'm so glad I don't have to do it just yet because I do plan on doing pretty much all the critters of Warframe. Hence why the first phase is called the Critters of, uh, critters of the Plains. Um, the uh, Avakea and the Cryptolex are not part of the Codex yet. They do not, uh, they are not a part of the, oh, that's one thing I should have tested when I could have shoot um because i was part of the private test not private public test cluster over this last weekend or so i wasn't doing any live streaming of it but i was able to lurk around in it and see how things were and the new critter the um Oh shoot, what's it called? No, its name is gone. Um, the It looks like a giant hyperactive jiggling potato and I love it. Um, the other one I did not have a chance to see but apparently it only spawned in, in the caves on Deimos, so... <laughs> well, here's the thing. The giant jiggling potato also had a maw. Like, split, like... It's symmetrical, this this critter. This critter... Like, it, it has its head. Like this, or whatever. And then it has the other head on the other side. And then it's then in its belly is the giant maw going across it. Um, actually, I could try sketching it. I could. <laughs> um, it's Grendel, but monster and sideways. So like, I don't remember the name of this thing. So when you see it initially, it's like kinda, kinda 
kind of like so. From what I, from what little I can remember of this thing. It's kind of like a little dumpy. Or whatever. And this thing is like symmetrical, so it's just like. So it's kind of like that. And then it has. So it's kind of like a giant uh, gyoza that's decided to eat people, uh, eat things. That's how I can describe this thing. And I don't remember the details on its back or anything. But that's essentially what you're looking at. Like, that's its front. Front. <laughs> but yeah this th this thing is I don't know I love it in its own weird way I can't wait for you guys to see it I did not see the other one I did not go into the cave systems at all uh, during the PTC so oops I could not find it and it didn't help that they didn't describe where the critters would be. Um, like nothing new from daughter or from uh, son mentioned. Oh, hey, some new critters have appeared on the uh, Deimos landscape. Go and investigate X critters. Uh, and that would be a kind of neat thing to have actually happen with um, uh, Deimos if they could tie it to um, rank in a way if they could uh, make it so that new critters appear like not just like so that you can see the lures um for like something to find or whatever I think it would be cool if like your progression with the family is what's drawing these cr new creatures out that would that's a neat um neat idea to me because I, I love conservation. I love Arcwing too, but apparently they're going to throw an axe to that one, so we'll see. Still a little bitter about the 
<laughs> that now that would be interesting um, because I know like like I said with the um, what I'm calling the grandeur like there's um, no official name for that creature and there's no there's no plans on updating the plans of Eidolon anytime soon. It's not even on the board as far as I know. Anything prior to COVID, say, say goodbye to any plans for that. <laughs> yeah. Um... With, um... I don't know if that's still an option anymore. To try experimental flight mode. I don't like it. Uh, it was... With... It wasn't... If they had built it around that flight mode, it probably would have done better. But, yeah, um, I, I couldn't stomach the change. Uh, it was too much for me. I think it was, like, maybe triggering some vertigo with me. I don't know. I don't really have vertigo, per se, but it was not doing me any sort of justice. It was, it was working against me with uh, experimental so I decided I'm not for that it can be for somebody else but not for me um, but the problem that Arkwing suffers from is that they designed it around the fit like the land-based combat they Yeah. Um, I think because um, it wasn't designed from the ground up for the for that flight mode, and it, the fact that it was designed based off of the knowledge for ground based combat, it didn't. It has not survived in its current state, and. They're working on it with uh, Railjack, and I applaud them for that. But a lot of the, the issue is, is that the the rule for Arkwing that they have not realized yet is that Arkwings should always be moving. You're in a vehicle. It's literally classified as a vehicle now. You should always be moving. If for whatever reason you're stopped, you're doing something wrong. In a gameplay sense. Like you grew up with X-Wing and TIE Fighter, but first person you ever seen. Yeah, a Star Lancer was a good jump for for his Yeah, it's yeah. It doesn't really work. The the had the right intention with rush mode, but they didn't execute it very well, and they left in the ninety degree turns for rush mode, and it just sucked. As a result, which is unfortunate because the Corpus Commander in that are in that mode is such a good uh, voice actor and he's left behind in the dust pun not intended but we'll fully accept um, that uh, he's behind a game mode that nobody is using and I really hope that DE hires this voice actor again to um, 
to work with the Corpus Railjack. Which is after Deimos Arcana. So we'll see. I hope I hope that they bring him back. He's such a cool voice actor. I know, right? Um let me see if I can pull him up quickly. Yeah, uh, let's see. Wiki, 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 wiki. There it is. There's the wiki link. All right. So I'm just going to let those all load in. Um, so like he has quotes for his introduction upon reaching the midway point, upon reaching the transport docks, when all three are destroyed, when a transport begins moving, when a transport escapes, when the last transport begins moving, and when all three transport escape. So like Praise the void. The prophets are safe. Huh? The transports are all safe. The profits are safe. Call the board. Let them know that ten of us failed. Again. Like, real. Like, I hope that they bring this guy back. Unfortunately, he's not credited on the wiki. But, uh, yeah. Corpus Commander is pretty good. Uh. Well, that was Corpus Rojak. We get it. Yeah, the command intrinsic. Next. I think they were actually talking about that though um with um because they were actually you know what no i know i know that they were talking about the command intrinsic uh during the last dev stream Let me take a look at that play Warframe. So uh, they have, but they are just talking about the whole itch system and like forth. Yeah, um... Oh yeah. Like, things- things will definitely change. Let's see, videos. Home dev stream 8. Anybody have a timestamp? Do 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 do.
hop over here for a bit. So when it comes to briefcases, would it not be cool, Jeff and team, if we had briefcase mm -hmm. class of weapons that turned into guns? It would be very cool. <laughs> yes, I think it would. So, yes, it is. <laughs> so, do you have yeah, the other image? I do. I have. Yeah. Um, if you want to see some park guns, we don't, we don't have a video of the transform yet, eh? Um, you didn't send no, me one, don't. Jeff. No, we don't. I have a. Taz made a really slow GIF of how, like, she's just sliding oh, the controller. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's just got such a rigging. So, it so people, people are saying shield references uh, in chat. Yeah. So this is the yeah. rifle. Uh, there's a pistol that's being worked on by Lucas right now that will probably be pistol and a Kimbo use. Um, and then I think the what next one is... Yeah. Wow. Or satchel. And then... Uh, <laughs> and I think uh, melee. A big melee weapon as well. Yeah, see? There you go, everything. Yeah, so the, yeah, the, uh, this the new weapon class is coming with uh, the Corpus Queenpins, and it's going to be tied into this Carbos Granum and Corpus Railjack and all of that in one uh, pretty huge update. So that'll be something we talk about down the road, but that's just to give you guys some compartmentalizing for uh, what's, what's coming in Warframe. So we'll and a new mastery that. rank to go with it. <laughs> well, we're, we're okay. Uh, I know it's in there somewhere. I just somewhere in that one. Anyways. Starting music. <laughs> yeah, at least well, at least it's in the game now. And the same, it, there was the same similar issue with the Kondrak, actually, the Vulture that's in Warframe. That was like four or five years before that was put in. <laughs> Anyways. Shiny teeth. Back to art. I'm not sure what else I could do with this guy. Uh, I have these on little art boards from the dollar store. Well, some of them were, most of them were from the dollar store. I ordered in a pack when I couldn't get them in the dollar store anymore. And essentially what I would do is I would do the backgrounds first and do something like this. And then I would draw, sketch in the critter, uh, like draw a line across and make sure that the, um, it's visible. Uh, and then get to a stage where I'm like, I do, and then I use marker to do the black lines and whatnot. And yeah, like I have a whole bunch of these pretty much starting to go. Actually, I think I'm going to work on the, what's this thing called again? Truck, the electric eel. sure I might do a shellac I'm not quite sure though I would like to add a protective coating over top of everything that's for sure um, <laughs> um, but it's actually kind of like th this has been up for a while now you can see how many different critters are in the Plains of Eidolon, and I've only done these ones that are complete. There's a lot of critters in Warframe. So, it's gonna take me a wee while before I'm done. No, it's okay. Um... Like, I, I, uh, I definitely do want to do a protective coating over top. 
um, namely for the older pieces because they uh, they actually have actual spray paint on them uh, for the silver on the older pieces. Whereas the, these are using actual acrylic for the silver. And I don't want the spray paint silver to wear off at all. Oh, that would be an interesting set, because I would think... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if they would actually commission me to paint more of them. I would definitely love to paint more. I know that they've commissioned other artists to do things, uh, but... I don't actually have I don't actually have an open commissions thing right now just because of how time consuming uh, things have been lately. Well, um, oh, well, yeah, that's one thing to consider. Um, I know that eventually I, I kind of want to do like a rotating thing that, oh yeah, you can't even really see me down here. Boop. Boop. Um... Because, yeah, they did the, there was the Zine project that happened recently, and oh my god, it's so pretty. Yeah, exactly. Um, although a, a good chunk of them have started to become partners, which is really cool. Because Debbie Sheen is a partner. Uh, Finn? I don't know how to pronounce their name. It's fin Finalea or something. I don't quite know how to pronounce their name. Um, Rittens is, I believe, a partner. Let's see. I hate that. I don't know why that happens now, but with the ease landing page, it's just like um, constantly loading the landing page, and I don't understand why that is. It's very odd. And there is Warframe Creators. Let me go to the page and do fan artist. Alright, so let let's just let's just take a look at all these wonderful artists that are a part of the program. Here we go. Finalena? Fin Fin Finlena? I don't know how to pronounce that. Z uh, Zer Zara Zeronis? Um I think that's Zilf. No, it's no, it's somebody else. Um, also known as DS seven seven five five six five. Kvat Schrodinger, myself, Cleo, who actually just had the Mirage Deluxe skin accepted into the thing, so they are actually going to be having their art be be a physical part of the game, which is pretty cool. Studio Cien. Uh, TBG Carew, Pammy Jamie, 
Space Waifu, Trash Frame, Frosty Nova Prime, Leo, Dr Dryl, Royal Pratt, Zilf, there we go, Silfix, Daster, Confused Warframe, Tenno a Day, Debbie Sheen, Rittens, Voli, and Floofy Dragon. All wonderful artists uh, that I highly recommend. Leo actually has an ongoing Warframe comic series with the um, with the lady from Red Veil, uh, who I've actually been quite invested in. They've actually made their own new character for this comic series that they've been doing with Paladino and Rook. And, um, and like they ha they, they, they just have definitely a unique art style. Um, and like the, the, it's just so good. And like, I think, like, legit, like, one of his comics actually made me cry earlier, so it's just, like, very good. Uh, and just some funnies every once in a while where it's just, like, I, I had a master wanting to have, like, a uh, baby cat sack to carry around the, the Hayek around in. Um... Yeah, Small Volt was unfortunate. Valentina Paz is, like, I follow so many of the artists. Not all of them are in the creator program yet. But I have a feeling that some of them will be part of, part of the creator program. Um, and yeah, so it's just, like, lots of lovely people in this program so far. And hopefully many more to come. Uh, and I still can't believe I was one of the first artists to get accepted into this program of like yay thank you <laughs> so that was very nice um thank you uh but yeah there's lots of wonderful creators in the warframe uh stuff like uh like you said with Valentina Paz um, so many, so many people that are, uh, yeah, actually, it's, uh, without the plural. There you go. I need to add more of my creative streams to my YouTube, and I was planning on adding Ori and the Blind Forest to it, but it's just like, well, shit, with the DMCA stuff. I don't even know anymore. It might... Um... Um... I, I want to continue playing Ori. Yep. Uh, I do want to continue playing Ori in the Blind Forest at some point. It's just, I I am an anxious per person by nature. Um, it makes it hard for me to leave my cash register to go take care of other things, unless it's absolutely necessary, like the mandatory washing that we now have to do. Um, um and it's just uh, making it hard for me to find if I want to stream games other than Warframe with the current environment with uh, Twitch. Because I'm not very trusting of what's going on right now. Because I am a small time streamer and I can only do... I want to do this for fun. I want to keep doing this for fun. And I don't want to be punished for doing things for fun. Um. Yeah, like, it sucks. And, like, I, I have been streaming for a long... I have been streaming for... 
three years now or something like that. I mean, yeah, we can use Tenno Tunes, but even then, that would be kind of uh, kind of iffy, because DE does own the rights to that, and like I know that Megan's been kind of like, ah! but no, she, she's she's fine because she works for DE. Um, what I what I'm using is Pretzel Rocks, and it should be should be okay. Um, but it's the um. It's the bot that might not recognize the tunes accordingly, which is the problem. So like, even though the music that I have purchased uh, streaming rights to, because I, like, uh, I am now a premium user for Pretzel Rocks. Uh, I'm now grandfathered into their, um, into their cheaper model. So, um, it should be okay with my music, but there is a chance that it can be muted. It's not likely because I've chosen to do lyricless and uh, whatnot. I might do the teeth on this guy, but we'll see. Twitter accusing so someone doing a cooking stream and then they got to Game Six Strike because they were played for something like dubstep song. Yeah. Like they're I, like I had a conversation like you probably saw the conversation to Aberthane where I had the conversation with um that guy with the smile. Uh he works with Hollywood stuff all the time. Yeah, I know I need to do the back legs on that, but screw it. I'm just going to start working on the silver pass on that one. Um, but I need my reference photo. Um, the He he actually works with um, Hollywood stuff all the time. And he he's, he's a very good person to go to about that. Um, what am I looking for? Frame, there we go. Um, and it's the, like, I, and I can understand why, um, why certain companies can, um, would want to have, um, they would, they want their, they want to be paid for the music that's being played. And I understand that, but their model doesn't quite work with modern standards. Um, and I actually watched like, um, yeah, it's a very, um, it's a tricky subject regardless. I need to boot up the game just a moment. Um, nope. Um, when the DMC, I'm sorry, we're really hitting people all over the curve. Yeah, like I have 
Uh, a couple of my alerts are from definitely, definitely from some songs. Like I have, um, like the follow alert is from a really old timey song that I don't even know where precisely it's from anymore. Um, the, oh shoot, is it going to update? Okay. No. Okay. Ooh, I thought there was like a hot fix or something that I had to contend with. Um, the, yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, it, well, it depends on the type of game that you're playing. Um, there was a really good, um, video that I watched the other day about this whole situation where um, it depends on the creative input of the author versus the creative input of the viewer or in this case me as the um, as the uh, broadcaster Yeah, uh, so the more... No, it's it is important to talk about, and I, um, I'm just trying to get things sorted for this current. Um, No, wait, no, wrong cat. No, not Arlo. Where's this basket? There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's on a lot of people's minds about this whole thing. All oh, right, I forgot about this.
All right, so there is a line. Whoa. Okay, something that I didn't put in right away. The heck was that sound? Okay. I kind of need. Oop. Helps if I have the thing out. <laughs> yep. Feel free. Yeah. Feel free to continue lurking. It's all good. Lurking helps. Despite what other people say, lurking does help. I'm glad I noticed that detail right now on the tail. I would not have found that otherwise. I knew some detail was missing on this. Just wasn't sure where. And it's something I will look into at a later point. Mostly due to the fact that uh, I only have so much energy in the day anymore these days. I've uh, already mentioned this on my Discord, but it's not. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, it's mostly like. It's not that I don't want to look up anything right now or anything, it's just I only have so much energy in the day these days. Yeah. 
And legalese is not my not my forte. At the best of times. It's why I'm an artist. <laughs> I should know some level of legalese just to protect my own art. Just because that's the main reason why I haven't opened up commissions at all yet this few years is because I am a slow artist. I only have so many, so much energy to give out. Like, if I have chores that day, I better be up early, otherwise I will not have anything else done. And as it was, I kind of sabotaged myself a little bit today by watching anime until 2 a.m. last night. So that's my own fault. But dang it, I really wanted to watch Ancient Mega's Bride again, so like, screw it. That was the sacrifice I was willing to make, apparently. And, I, and I'm not sure could use could do a sequel. Hopefully it wouldn't be ruined. That's why I'm like ca cautiously optimistic <laughs> well, like, having to wake up at, like, what is it, 6.30 tomorrow and the day after, I really, that's why I'm only streaming as I am right now. Uh, and I actually probably should be calling it an end to a stream soon, but I just want to get the silver on this Vasca that done quickly if possible I poured out way too much silver and I want to use as much of it as I can before having to call it Well, not, not just yet. I want to use as much of the silver as I can before switching over to somebody else. <laughs> I mean, Twitch, Twitch be twitching. Just in general these days.
<laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be uh, joining me, that that'd be great. Actually, I should probably check in and see what the progress is on that. For Destiny 2, that is. I should probably slow down a lot since I opened up Warframe, so who knows. I know I have to do the rear legs as well, uh, but not just yet. Who knows, maybe, because they, didn't they like drop support for Destiny 1 in favor of 2? I'm still a little peeved with them that they just didn't continue it, calling it just Destiny. Like Warframe, it's just like, Warframe could be like so many different versions of Warframe. But it's just still Warframe. I do, that's my own little that's my own little qualm with it. Ooh, I just saw something that I need to take a look at. Yep, yep, yep. Still in D. Arcana is coming this week to PC. <laughs> the infested aren't done with you yet, Tenno. Return to the grotesquely beautiful Cambian Drift and dominate the landscape in a whole new way with Bone Widow, the sword-wielding necromech. Take on the new isolation vault bounties and conservation efforts Explore uncharted caverns deep within the infested moon and fight fire with fire using an all new infested weapons. New Necromech Bone Widow. Introducing Bone Widow, a robust frontline necromech that favors armor and health over shield strength. Uh, over shield strength, impale and hurl enemies from the battlefield or fight them up close with an exalted warblade and heavy shield. The Morga Rocket Launcher. Uh, a, an ancient Entrati weapon that blasts through enemies with a double-barreled shot of energy slugs. They're showing off the shield here, but they really should show off the actual thing. But anyways, that's my own little personal pick. Uh, new isolation vault bounties and underground levels. Delve deep into the unexplored Entrati, vaults uh, Entrati vault runes as you take on three new isolation vault bounties. Complete the initial isolation vault tier to unlock the new offer from Mother. New enemy, the Mitosid. The, the legs uh, the legs are coming, Dunno. Previously known as the Splitter, the unpredictable uh, Mitosid hunts, uh, hunts its prey using vibrations from the surrounding environment. Surgical precision is recommended with this enemy as the Mitosid is, has evolved to physically rip itself in half to survive. 
new fishing and conservation. The wilderness of Deimos is teeming with fauna and, Ar and Arcana introduces two new infested beasts to, tr to be trapped, captured, and protected. Ooh, excuse me. The, inf the amphibiously freakish Undazoa, the, the hyper potato that I was talking about earlier, and the thwomp-like Nexifera. These, uh, those looking to relax near the exocrine will also be happy to know that the two, that two new fish spe uh, spe species, the paras uh, parasitic flag flagellicanth and the three-tailed lobotricid, D.E., you're trying me here, will now be available to catch good fortunes, Tenno. And I believe one is only available during Foss, and one is only available during Vome for the for the fish. Uh, mend the family. Deimos may look dead and decayed, but it's chock full of useful resources. Visit grandmother and the necklace in exchange. Any extra resources you might have for Entrati family tokens. Oh. Uh, the kind of token available for trade randomizes every few hours, so visit regularly to obtain extra tokens of your choice. The Gar Kaleida collection. Kaleida? Kaleida? Dazzled with the with this scintillating collection for, uh, of de deluxe gar items features the de gar deluxe Kaleida skin, star glaze shards, uh, glistor sandana, and refrax longsword skin. I am having some issues talking right now, apparently. <laughs> Looks lovely. Color scheme is a little odd, but that's besides the point. Warframe Augment mods are coming. Harness your Warframe's full potential with these new Augment mods for Goss, Garuda, Revenant, and Wisp. With uh, For Garuda, you have uh, Blending tail Talons. Seeking Talons Augment. Tap to perform a 90 meter AoE uh, uh, around Garuda. Garuda's Talons gain 100% additional combo count chance when hitting targets affected by a bleed status proc. Mock Crash for Goss. Mock Rush Augment. Impact Shockwave leaves behind a vacuum that sucks in enemies within 8 meters. So basically, you crash into a wall near, uh, near enemies, they'll get sucked into the wall, uh, and will create a focus point for you to attack from. Thrall Pact for Revenant. And Thrall Augment. Gain tw plus 25% primary weapon damage for each act of Thrall. Archoplasmor, having some good times. Thank you. Breach Surge for Wisp. Breach Surge Augment. Teleporting to a reservoir costs 50% energy and grants 10% uh, critical chance to sniper rifles per meter, meter traveled for 9 seconds. Maximum of 350% critical chance. Crazy good for sniper rifles for Wisp, apparently. Uh, Tenno reinforcements. As the infestation grows in strength, so must your firepower. Cambian Armaments Collection. New, uh, blah, 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 blah. New weapons have emerged from the seething horror of the infestation, bringing, it, uh, bringing a fresh living aspect to their, uh, to their power. Featuring the bio-loaded uh, catabolist uh, pistol, the Probiscus Cernos Bow, and the Pulmonar's Nunchaku, the devastating and the devastating uh, Bubanico Arm Cannon. Bubanaco? Bubanico? Whatever. It is the infested arm cannon that we are going to have so much fun with. The Catabolist splatter enemies with a short range a short range stream of corrosive bile and then toss the ammo bladder that's an awful phrase uh, as a grenade when reloading. The emptier the pistol's ammo bladder, the more potent its damage. The emptier the pistol. Uh, the full a full empty bladder packs the biggest punch. Huh? A full empty... A full empty bladder packs the biggest punch. Huh? 
My brain hurts just reading that sentence right there. Anyways, moving on. Propiscus Cernos. Uh, each arrow spawns a swarm of sticky appendages on impact. These tongue-like probes latch onto nearby unfortunates and drag them close before bursting into a mess of diseased goo. D.E. D.E. please. The hentai that is going to be formed from that sentence alone scares me. D.E. please. Anyways. The pulmonars. Pummel in effect the, with these new, two uh, devastating hunks of flesh connected by a ligament. Take, uh, take hold of the malignant evolution of an ancient martial weapon. Thumbs up on that one. Nothing gross or weird about that. The boobanical. Boobanical? Boobanico. Whatever. Uh, rain down a triple volley of explosive disease bladders from a distance, then move in for the kill by unloading a multi-shot barrage of toxic barbs with the primary far fire. I know it's called bladders, and that makes sense. B blah. Uh, the Aram Spinoza. This slash through enemies with two uh, two leaves of exceeding rare arm spinosa plant. Uh, heavy attack to whip a flurry of toxic spines to ranged attack at ranged attackers. So yay. Uh, and then we have this beastie, the Sporo Sporothrix. This long distance uh, rifle fires a razor sharp virus soaked barb. That it continues to attack its host before violently erupting in a spore-laden mist. Scoped headshots increase lethality. Of course. Uh, infested kid guns acquire uh, unsightly infested components from father and incorporate them into your kit gun. Infested K-Drive! Grandmother has gotten her hands on a, on a new infested K-Drive and it can be yours by competing in each of her races in the Cambian Drift. Once you've acquired the uh, Fervor Spine, Gristle Buck, nod Nodulite, and Steba Parts. Visit your friend Roki and Fortuna to build an infested K-Drive. I hope Roki has a new line for that. Please and thank you, D.E. Please. Uh, new Necroloid Syndicate offerings. Heart of Deimos is uh, introduced you to the Entrati family's loyal servants. Now, Deimos Akarna lets you stamp their distinguished look uh, on your Sentinel with the new Lloyd Sentinel skin. Available as a Necroloid Syndicate offering along uh, along with a so soothingly elegant Entrati Ayatan sculpture. Ooh, I did not take a look at that when I had the chance. Uh, plus, bring Deimos to your dojo with Entrati Dojo decorations and gnarly, gnarly infested decorations and a breathing, pulsing infested chamber. Strike back against the infested and show the gray strain that the fight for the infested moon is far from over. With tenacious new firepower and gear, the future of Deimos is in your hands, Tenno. Oh, uh, yeah. So, looking good. Anyways, let's continue using up what silver paint I have left. So, yay. I put out too much by mistake. So yeah, lots of good stuff coming. I'm mostly looking forward to um, the conservation stuff um, when it comes to the release. So, because it's it's Wednesday, 
I'm assuming because of that post, it won't come out until like Friday. Knowing how things go. Maybe before Friday? Like maybe, maybe they'll launch it with prime time. And that way, if there is a dev stream, uh, which probably won't be happening. But if they do do a live stream, which would be cool, uh, they would have the whole of Arcana to talk about and their plans for Queenpin and Railjack. Oh yeah, there was I know that I saw I didn't quite read it per se, but uh Danielle was tweeting out some stuff earlier this week. Uh that there were some issues that they that they know about. remember precisely what she was tweeting out though. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, I actually do plan on moving to Fortuna after uh, the critters are, uh, of the plants are done. This is what we call... Um... Oh, shoot. Uh, job security. There we go. That way I can stay in as a Warframe creator. For long, <laughs> for as long as I can. I literally think of uh, that Porky Pig uh, voice actor interview. He is literally the only person who can play as Porky Pig because he has made it so. And he's even described how he does it, but he's the only one capable of doing it. Like, I think back to that interview quite quite frequently actually. I was just like, yeah, go you. You will have job security in that regard. That's pretty cool that you managed to work that out. And he's such a popular character too. It's just like you have a secured uh, not only a popular character but like you being the only one to do that character like smart smart person And I really do like, I love, like, on a similar note, like, I really do love reading the Warframe update notes. It does give me a chance to, like, put on my announcer voice what little I have of one. Um, and it's kind of funny because I actually get some work with my announcer voice um, at work. Because event every once in a blue moon, I will have to call on the... PA system for somebody to do a price check and we were busy the one day and I understand that but if I have to call on the PA three times for a price check y'all done fucked up <laughs> There's still so much silver left to use.
Yep. And it's very rare that like I'm I'm usually of the mind frame frame of mind where I don't want to bother the managers if I can avoid it. Or my or my supers, rather. If I, I am unfortunately a very stubborn person, I want to try and see if I can handle it myself. Um, to my detriment most times, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, even, even with my anxiety, I am stubborn to a fault. I don't think I can do any more silver on this. That is a lot of silver on this. Meow. I think I can use a little bit of silver on down here. Open the door. Or it is. Thank you. Shoot. I forgot. I put it as the wrong fish. I did that for 10 October stuff. I can't switch out the fish here. So I have to leave Ketra. Yeah! There. Now that I've done it. Oh, well, it still needs the hind legs. Um. need to uh, remove no not add fish remove remove you you and you add um, mort 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 large There we go. Screw it. I think I will just go with the mawfish. It'll eat up more of the silver than the uh, mortis. I think I'm good. Do you remember the old war, Operator? Order seems to have misplaced their training. No, I don't, Ortis, unfortunately. We're still working on that.
You hear that chittering noise that's the uh infested drone walked into the room Oi. well hello there stanley <laughs> Yeah, little kitty. She's got the zoomies right now. easier to fill in with the silver paint and use up a good chunk of it.
I'll fix up some of the details on this later. So I know I kind of pupper knocked some of it by adding the silver in, but you know what? Whatever. Well, maybe I can add it back in if I'm careful. Not really looking like the case. the kind of situation where it's like once it comes out of the tube it doesn't really go back in dang it no oh, well that wasn't a horrible loss of paint but I had fun with it Still debating on doing the silver for the char uh, chark. Chark, chark. What's it called? Chark. There we go. I was close. Anyway. need to go on a raid oh right I forgot we need uh, that one there uh, we need that one there <laughs> show off the pieces that we worked on today No, I don't really want that facing that that way. Anyways, let's go see who we can send the love to. <laughs> I 
I mean, kinda. It, with the, the way how I have the pattern going, I'm not too surprised by that, yeah. loading pretty slow. Alright. Who can we send the party on over to? sugar well he may not he may not be playing Warframe at the moment he has played it before in the past but he's currently playing some Destiny 2 please be muted alright we are going to go say hi to a very special person on, person on Twitch We're gonna go say hi to Benny. Benny is a fantastic streamer who has the skill of playing games one-handed while the other one is mastering a puppet. So like, they're doing phenomenal work. Um, and uh, yeah, look forward to uh, PlayStation streams, Switch streams, and uh, PC streams for me in the future. I'm not sure what the streaming is going to be like tomorrow. Probably no streams tomorrow night. Uh, Friday night is more likely. Um, and yeah, thank you Otto for hanging out. Thank you everything. Thank you little Nala. Thank you everybody for lurking away as you do. Much appreciated. Much love. Um, but yeah, so, uh, my sister's going to be visiting over again this Saturday, so there's probably not going to be another, um, movie night this week, again, like last week, uh, so we'll see how that all pans out. Um, I think that's really about it for news and whatnot, so, have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you later, Bye bye we're gonna see, see some, uh, Destiny, Bye bye <laughs>